Welcome to BrilliantMaths.com, where every student has an opportunity to excel in math. Go to the website. We have lots of materials that cover primary and secondary school mathematics. Subscribe to it and get access to all the resources. Today we are looking at addition and subtraction of directed numbers, combining signs. What do I mean by combining signs? When we have two signs separated by a bracket or two signs next to each other. For example, simplify the following. Plus three, plus, plus three. During the last lesson, we established what it means. Let's establish positive and negative directions and also forward and backward movements. So for example, on our number line, moving away from zero, going towards the right, it's going in the positive direction. And moving away from zero, but going towards the left, we'll be moving in the negative direction. So for this lesson, we're saying that the positive sign would mean positive direction, a forward movement, so you can actually move forward in any direction. If you face the positive direction and you're going forward, it is also possible to face the negative direction and go forward. What does that mean? So for example, example one, five plus minus two. The positive sign here would mean a positive direction and the negative sign here would mean a backward movement. So when you have two signs, one is talking about direction and the other is talking about movement. So we're saying you stand at 5, positive 5. We stand at 5. We face the positive direction. So that means we're facing this direction. But we are going backwards two steps. So stand at 5. Face that direction, but go backwards two steps. One, two. So the answer will be three. That's the same thing like saying five minus two. And five minus two is three. So we're saying that plus and minus actually means take away. Haven't gone over that. Let's look at these examples. Simplify the following, plus three, plus, plus three. That means to positive three, we are adding three, because plus and plus is a plus. And three plus three is equal to six. For the next example, seven minus plus one. When you have a minus sign and a plus sign separated by a bracket, it actually means take away. So this means minus 7 take away 1. And the answer will be minus 8. For the third example, we have 10 plus minus 5. And a plus and a minus means a minus. So that is 10 minus 5, which is equal to 5. In the next example, we have minus 10, take away positive 4. The two signs in the middle there, minus and plus, if you simplify them, it means a minus sign. So this means minus 10, minus 4. And from minus 10, if you take away 4, your answer will be minus 14. In the next example, we have 9 minus plus 9. That means 9 take away 9, which will give us a 0. In the next one, minus 9, minus, minus 9. We are interested in the two signs in the middle here. If you have 
two negative signs, minus times minus, it is positive. So this means minus 9 plus 9, and 9 take away 9 is equal to 0. In the next example, we have negative 28 plus minus 2. That will mean minus 28 take away 2. Because plus and minus separated by a bracket actually means taking away. So minus 28 minus 2 is equal to minus 30. This actually means from negative 28 take away 2. So from negative 28 you go backwards two steps that will give you negative 30. So minus 28 minus 2 is minus 30. The next example is very interesting. Minus 50 minus minus 36. We've agreed that when you have two negative signs in the middle, then it is positive. So minus 50 minus minus 36 is minus 50 plus 36. And over here, we are supposed to take 50 from 36. So is the answer going to be positive or negative? Since 50 as a number is bigger than 36 as a number, the answer would have the sign attached to 50. So 50 is negative, so our answer is definitely going to be negative. And then we subtract 36 from 50. And what do we have? We have 14. So minus 50 plus 36 is equal to minus 14. The next example is minus 190 plus minus 190. And we know that plus and a minus is a minus. So we have minus 190 minus 190. In this case, both of them are negatives. So you simply add the numbers together and give your answer a negative sign. And double 190 is 380. So our answer is minus 380. For the last example, we have 47 minus minus 3 plus minus 10. So let's simplify this double signs in the middle before we continue. So that becomes 47 minus and minus will give us plus and plus and minus will give us a minus. So it becomes 47 plus 3 minus 10 and 47 plus 3 is equal to 50 and 50 minus 10 we give us 40. Let's look at this example. Ama has a balance of minus 18 Ghana cities. She deposits 300 Ghana cities into her account. What is her new balance? The solution is minus 18 Ghana cities plus 300 Ghana cities because she deposits 300. But to work out how much her new balance would be, you have to subtract 18 Ghana cities from 300 Ghana cities. So in doing this, that's a zero in the unit column. We come here to borrow a one. So you borrow a one from the three and that becomes a two there. This becomes a 10. 10, we borrow a one from the 10 and we are left with nine. And then this becomes a 10. 10, take away eight. Is 2. 9 take away 1 is 8. And then we have 2 left there. So our answer is 282. So Emma's new balance will be 282 Ghana cities. 
Let's look at this example. James has 320 pounds in his account. He withdrew 405 pounds. What is his new bank balance? James has an arrangement with his bank. He can withdraw as much money as he needs at any time, even if he doesn't have as much in his account. So he withdrew 405 pounds, but he actually had 320. So we take away 320 from 405 to know how much extra he withdrew. 5 take away 0 is 5. That's 0, so we borrow 1 from the 4 and it becomes a 10. 10 take away 2 is 8. So he withdrew an excess of 85 pounds. That means that the balance in his account will be minus 85 pounds. So he owes the bank 85 pounds. Let's look at this example. Evaluate each of the following. Minus 56 divided by 7. 56 divided by 7 would give you 8. And since 56 is negative and 7 is positive, the answer will be negative. So minus 56 divided by 7 is minus 8. 81 divided by minus 3. 81 is positive, but 3 is negative. So the answer would definitely be negative. 81 divided by 3. 3 into 8. How many 3's do we have in 8? We have 2. And that would be 6. Remember 2. 3 in 21. How many 3's do you have in 21? 7. So 81 divided by minus 3 is minus 27. The third example, minus 40 divided by minus 2. Both of them are negative. Minus divided by minus is plus. Just the way negative times negative is positive, negative divided by negative is also positive. So 40 divided by 2 is 20. So minus 40 divided by minus 2 will give us plus 20. Minus 16 divided by minus 48. This time, we are dividing by a bigger number in terms of digits. 16 and 48. 48 is greater than 16. But we are dividing minus 16 by minus 48. Minus divided by minus will give us for positive. And then 16 divided by 48 is the same as 16 over 48. So here our answer is going to be a fraction. How many 16s do we have in 48? Let's see. Let's divide by 4. 4 in 16 is a 4. And 4 in 48 is a 12. So the answer is 4 out of 12. But to leave that answer in its simplest form or lowest term, it will be 1 over 3. So the answer is plus 1 third. For the next example, we have minus 44 times minus 3. We're multiplying here. Minus times minus is positive. 3 times 44. 3 times 4 is 12. Carry 1. 3 times 4 again is 12. Plus 1 is 13. So minus 44 times minus 3 is plus 132. For the next example, we have minus 5 squared. That means minus 5 times minus 5. And 5 times 5 is 25. And minus times minus is plus. So minus 5 times minus 5 is 
plus 25. In this example, we have minus, but it's only the 5 that is squared. So we're going to square the 5, which is 5 times 5, and then have our minus sign outside the bracket. So 5 times 5 is 25, and we negate 25, so the answer is minus 25. This question is different from this. In this case, it's a negative 5 that is squared. So we're multiplying negative 5 by itself, which is minus 5 times minus 5, and the answer becomes plus 25. But here, the 5 is squared, while the negative sign is outside the bracket. So we multiply 5 by 5 to get 25, and then we negate the answer to give us minus 25. And then the last one, minus 630 divided by 90. We can start by canceling out the zeros. And then we have minus 63 divided by 9. 63 divided by 9 is 7. And since 63 is negative and 9 is positive, our answer is minus 7. Let's look at multiplication and division of directed numbers. For example, evaluate each of the following. The first one is minus 2 times plus 14. That just simply means minus 2 times positive 14. 2 times 14 we know is 28. And now multiplying the signs, minus times plus is minus. So minus 2 times 14 or positive 14 is minus 28. For the next example, we have 8 times minus 6. The 8 here does not have a sign in front of it, but that implies that it is positive. And 8 times 6 is 48. And minus times plus is a minus. So 8 times minus 6 is minus 48. Next, we have minus 5 times minus 8. In this case, both of them are negatives. So 5 times 8 is 40. But minus times minus is plus. So minus 5 times minus 8 is plus 40. For the last one we have here, we have plus 9 times plus 10. So both of them are positives. When you have positives, you can choose not to put the sign in front. 9 times 10 is 90. There's no need to write the positive sign in front. I just wrote this here for you to know that it means the same. Plus 40 is the same as 40. Let's look at the signs then in summary. Plus times plus is plus. Minus times minus is plus. We can see that when the two signs are the same, when they are like, then the answer is positive. So if you multiply like signs, the answer will be positive. But if you multiply unlike signs, like plus times minus is minus, and minus times plus is minus. So when the signs are different, when one is negative and the other is positive, then the product is negative. Let's look at this example. At 7 a.m., the temperature in Joe's garden was minus 4 degrees Celsius. At 1 p.m., the temperature had increased by 12 degrees Celsius. What is the new temperature at 1 p.m.? So that means that by 7 a.m., it was minus 4 degrees Celsius, and 
by 1 p.m., it had increased by 12 degrees Celsius. So to set out this, we have minus 4 degrees Celsius. Since it has increased, then that is addition, plus 12 degrees Celsius. So if you are adding 12 to minus 4, that means on a number line, you are moving from minus 4 to the right. You go 12 steps to the right. That is the same as 12 take away 4. And 12 take away 4 is equal to 8. So minus 4 degrees Celsius plus 12 degrees Celsius is equal to 8 degrees Celsius. So the new temperature in Joe's garden by 1 p.m. will be 8 degrees Celsius. Let's look at this example. A submarine was situated 800 feet below sea level. If it ascends 250 feet, what is its new position? So that means that the submarine is down, down in the sea. It's 800 feet below the sea level. So this is our sea level. And the submarine is all the way down here. And then it begins to push up bit by bit. And it pushes up 250 feet. That means it ascends 250 feet. We want to find the new position. That new position is its position below sea level now that it has ascended 250 feet. So to be able to solve this problem, you're supposed to subtract 250 from 800. But in the actual sense of it, 800 feet below sea level actually means minus 800 feet. Because if this is sea level, the submarine is negative 800 down. So it's actually minus 800 feet. And then when it ascends 250 feet, you are adding 250 feet to 800 feet. So to find that position, we'll subtract 250 from 800 and give our answer a negative sign because it is still below sea level. So 800 minus 250, 0 take away 0 is a 0. There's a 0 there, so we'll borrow a 1 from the 8, and that leaves us with 7. If you don't mind, I can write it. That leaves us with 7. So now we have a 1 here. So 10 take away 5 is a 5. And 7 take away 2 is a 5. So the actual position of the submarine is now minus 550 feet, which is the same as 550 feet below sea level. For more examples, exercises, and feedbacks, subscribe to the modules on brilliantmaths.com. I am Ngozi Arevo again. Always remember, the math is fun, but you are